What up, what up, what up? What's going on? Three? Big man 3D in the building. Welcome to the Balls on Deck podcast, baby. Glad to have you. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. An absolute honor. I watched uh, I watched an interview with Six uh, the other day. She was, um, she was crazy, man. Hell yeah, man. I like we're going around there. Oh, yeah, man. He was one of the first artists that I actually responded to one of the posts. He was like, yo, I'm interested. I was like, all right, let me figure out how to do the, you know, the interview online. And then we in it. And being that we all quarantined in the house anyway. No better time. Let's do it. Right, exactly. There you go. There you go. That's that's, that's my boy right there. I love that kid. I fucking love Six. Oh, yeah, man. He's dope, too, man. He he definitely got some balls. He was uh he was my first battle when I ever started like I've always been a fan of battle rap um but I first started to like participate online and he was my very first opponent. That's was, crazy. Uh, How did that? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I th- I'd say I'd say it went pretty good. You can definitely find it on Spitch Bar's YouTube page. Uh, okay. Or I can I can I'll throw links down when, when this starts dropping on uh on Facebook and YouTube and stuff. Um. Bad, bad, bad. Hell yeah! So that was that was the the first time I'd ever shown up. Fucking okay. did my shit. Positive reviews and uh, <laughs> ah, no doubt. The rest no doubt. of history. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I'm glad it was a good turnout, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's get things started, man. Uh, you know, like I said, glad to have you. Balls on Deck podcast. You're the second artist that I got on a video chat, so Thank I definitely you. appreciate that. But let's get into Dude, it, man. Like- I got a couple questions for you. Sure. And then after that. Of course, the show is called Bars on Deck. So what we do here is we have some bars. So if you got some bars for me, then let's do oh, this. I prepared, you know I prepared something special. I seen, I seen, uh, you brought that up to my boy Six, and I had to pause, and I was like, oh shit, okay, I got homework <laughs> to do. So I no cooked doubt. something up for you today. Don't you worry. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Appreciate that, man. But being that you're a battle artist mm-hmm. and whatnot, let me start off the question, kind of basic. Uh, what made you get into battling? What was the what was the decision? How was the process like? You know what I'm saying? Because that's a different arena. That's not like regular music. That's oh, sure. like you gotta go in there like it's a jungle, you know what I mean? So, you know, how you ex- explain to me how you got into it? Fucking I have uh I've been a fan of battle rap since I first saw uh, uh Thesaurus versus Iron Solomon back when Jump Off was still kinda like just I, kinda I popping. Remember that. Yeah. Um, so battle rap has always been on my mind. Uh, I've been rapping since way before that. Like I've been rapping since I was young. So I was already making music when I had figured out that battle rap was even a thing. Right, and right, right. Uh, actually happened outside of Eight Mile. And, um, oh, so you from the D? Oh, okay, nice. Oh no 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 no. I sorry. I meant uh, uh, I meant I didn't know that battle rap happened outside the movie Eight Mile. Like oh, when I was okay. younger. Okay. Yeah, yeah yeah. So like I was already I was already like doing it musically, but I didn't know that competitive battle rap was a thing, and I had stumbled upon oh, it. Gotcha, this is, this gotcha. is the fun best um it wouldn't be hell yeah it wouldn't be until about eight ish years later give or take in like 2017 where i just found spitch bars pretty much like i was i was always uh i had already i had gone to my first king of the dot show i was at a massacre um which was i think originally supposed to be in boston they moved it to holyoke which is a little closer to me and um and i was able to go to that and i was i I'm just, it was the culture was was in my veins like I needed I needed a little more and um, so I sought out if online battle rap was a thing I found Spitch at Bars and they were incredibly active I had found two other pages that I can't remember the name of now that were completely dead and um, I lurked on Spitch at Bars for a while and uh, eventually they were asking for signups and I was like you know what here we go I hear that <laughs> doors open so I just I fucking big boot right through it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you're definitely a real fan of this battling and just hip hop in general. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I love this okay. shit. Yeah, okay. I, I'm definitely. You could, you could put me in the box. I'm one of them hip hop save my life kind of cats. Like, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I like that. I, I was definitely one of those, one of those super emotional, angry white teens when I was young. Ain't really know how to express myself and shit. And and right, right, right. finding finding hip hop and then and then battle rap after that as a, as another subdivision like fucking really really let me come out you know what i mean like really that's a fact that's a fact mm-hmm. so so when it comes to battle rapping who would you say who are some of the battle artists that you've come across that you heard that you kind of took bits and pieces of influence from or you just develop your own style on your own are we are we talking like strictly 
the battlers that I've met personally, like personally interacted with? Or you just overall. mean like like big yeah. games and stuff? Yeah, no, overall, yeah. From the big um, games to the big battle arenas, all the way down to like I had and all of that. Got you, got you. Yeah. So like big, I'd say on the on the big stuff, I'm I'm heavily influenced by uh by I would say the top three as far as big names go would be Immaculate, would be Dumbfounded, and Probably Big K for more reasons than one. Um, okay. okay. And then as far as battlers that I've met that have really inspired me, um, and you could definitely take a couple of these names for guests that you should have on this podcast. Um, definitely. Just to, just to throw a few out. Uh, my boy Smooth, who okay. is a homie of mine from, from Just File Bahama side. Um, my boy uh, I Am Seven. He was an incredibly creative. Uh, he's that dude who'll be rapping in the half mask with like the glowing red eyes. If you yeah, see, yeah, yeah, I think I know what that is. Yelling him, that dude's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have the third name I'm on deck, and now I'm fucking losing it. I forgot who the third person I was gonna say is, and I'm mad as shit. <laughs> Damn, man. Fuck, I'm gonna just say Six Wheels, cause fucking that man's an inspiration to everybody. That's that a fact, yo. Absolutely I, everything. Yo, I was ready, like, because he's, he's so dope. I was ready to, like, lose it on anybody that would have said anything about him because, you know, nobody knows oh. his story. So I'm like, right. yo, outside of him being dope, just respect him for the music. You know what I'm saying? But nobody yeah, came at him. And I was like, yo, that's love right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, people, you know what I mean? I respect him, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. But um, that's dope, man. I love, I love how you, you know... You pick some of those artists that inspire you and, you, you know, basically you use as influence to get you where you are now. That's dope, man. Um, yeah, I was at that last battle uh, in Brooklyn when you battled crazy. Just In Time. Hell yeah. Uh, that event that event was magical, that bro. That shit event was, was fantastic. Crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo, I got there late. I got there. The first battle I saw was your battle. And yeah, I walked up on you afterwards and I was like, yo, huh? I think we was the second or third joint that kicked off. I battled the second I walked through that fucking door. I said hi yeah, to that's... people, and I entered that mm-hmm. bar, and they said, yo, the next battle here, and I said, bet. <laughs> okay, let's do it, man. And yo, I, I, yeah, it was an even even battle, but I do think that the first round, you gave him 30. I think Justin, it took a while for him to get going, but he got going, and then it was like an even, like I said, an even battle, but I was like, yo, Y'all, I never met y'all, never seen y'all, but y'all showed up that day. I was like, yo, what's going on out here? You guys are ready for the big show, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So that's why I'm like, nah, man, you know, we got to do this, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I wanted to have you on the show, because I'm like, yo, you're definitely lyrical. You definitely got a presence out there. Spit your bars, love you. I got to have you on the show, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> of course, man, they, and they welcome me with open arms. So you know I'm gonna be there on the 26th of April. If you gonna be there, definitely let me know. I I don't I don't know if you heard, bro. That event that event postponed. Oh yeah, because it's bullshit, right? Yeah, because all this fucking yeah yeah, yeah yeah We can't Open even as far as we, can, we can't even be meeting up anywhere. You can't have meetings larger than like five people or some bullshit. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. And it's even over. I live in fucking bullshit New Hampshire where fucking nobody is, and they still be telling us we can't be. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, whenever it resumes, we back at it, and I'm in there. Exactly. When the world starts spinning again, we'll fucking... Here we go. Here we go, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's how it is. But uh, yeah, man, I was definitely at that battle, and I, and I gained a lot of respect for a lot of you cats, man. And I'm like, yo, I got to work with these guys in some kind of way. So, I'm, I, like I said, I'm humble and I'm appreciative that you pulled up on me, man. You know, for real, man. It's a good look. Hey, right back at it, bro. I appreciate the love. Spitch of Bars appreciates the love. You know, there's a bunch of cats from there that are all down to fuck with this type of shit. Like, no. Yeah. So, so um, let me ask you this, though. I love it. Let me what ask you this, though. What you as got? Far as music, though, now. Let's go on the music side. Are you doing anything musically or is it all battles? So I definitely did a lot of music before I started battling. Um, my SoundCloud still exists. You can hear tracks from as far back as 2015, I think. Um, and that's just soundcloud.com slash the third dimension. Um, I haven't I haven't done any musical work recently because battle rap just it it became such a fucking like going from being the super fan to actually participating just took up so it was all my free 
time. Like, I gave up. Uh, I stopped fucking, like, I was heavy into, like, fighting games and shit, getting high level on that shit. I threw that shit out the fucking window. I threw everything. I just was battling, bro. I was just right. Nice, nice. Battling. I did, my first year, I battled, I think I did seven battles. Okay. In my first year participating from when I started in 2017 to the same date, 2018. I battled a shit ton. When I first came. That's good, man. You kept consistent. Oh, That's good. Yeah. Exactly, but it just means like I didn't, I didn't do anything else. That's the problem. <laughs> um, but music is still is still definitely a very strong and passionate interest within me. Like you know, um, because it is the music that I fell in love with before anything else. You know, so it's it's definitely I definitely want to make music. I definitely want to continue. There's definitely stuff in the works that I haven't I haven't done anything with. That, I mean, there's no better time than to go back and fucking... Right, especially now that we got none but time, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Right, right, well, right. Uh, hopefully, um, after after more more life adjustments get made, I can start pumping out some of that stuff. Um, there's there's more to come, definitely. Absolutely, but there's, absolutely. There's been a massive gap in my musical career, certainly. Okay, okay, so you definitely got that in track, but you just postponed that for now, and you basically just working on battles and et cetera and blah, blah, blah. Pretty much, yeah. It, it ate me up for about three years. <laughs> hey, man, it's very. I was that, that was that's crazy. You said that because my next question is going to be, what's the preparation for a battle? Like, how do you put that whole process together? So, the amount of time that you have can vary depending on, you know, different leagues will ask you at different points beforehand. However long it takes you to be able to lock in, whatever. Generally speaking, you have about a month and change, give okay. or take. Okay. Uh, so you, you almost always have a decent chunk of time for preparation. Um, the amount of rounds and the times can also vary. You can sometimes do one round of shit, but usually it'll it'll just start with a lot of um, just free form, like freestyling in my head and shit, you know. Right, right, right. With people's heads being on fire and all that. It just starts as that. Start to get some cohesive ideas down and... After a few bars are, are loosely placed all over the place, I'd start kind of squeezing them together, okay. making sense of everything. Right. Um, I, I like to do a lot of research on my opponent, so the more footage they have, the easier a time I feel like I'm going to have preparing okay. for them. Okay. Because um, everything they talk about becomes an available talking point. You can't assume that the crowd knows everything that you're looking at, but mm. you can definitely put a magnifying glass over certain things. Yo, you told so-and-so that you was going mm, and tear into them like that. Right, right, right. Research is so fucking important. Um, That's a fact. I was about to ask you that too. Like, do you do you really study your opponent and, and try to dissect them or do you just, you know, just throw bars at them? As, as far as the work that they've put out, I will, I will do the research. Like, I don't go all the way on to, like, I'll ask, you on Facebook if you're the person I'm battling. Like, that's cool. But like I'm not gonna go creeping through your pictures. I'm not looking for your sister's Facebook. I'm not like I'm not going for that far. I'm right. definitely watching all your battles. I'll, I'll listen to your music. I'm I'm gonna you know what I mean? Uh, to to that extent. Okay. Um, okay. Her, um but I don't do the weirdo shit. Uh because that's just not necessary. Um but there have been cases I battled C Flizz over at I battle and um he had prior battles but footage had never been released so he had no footage. So I had no wow. reason research to do and wow. um he he showed up we had a, a one rounder i i wasn't originally pit up against him i was supposed to battle uh king chai or king chi i don't know how to say his name okay. um and he had backed out about a two-ish or three-ish weeks before the event okay. so i i had been rescheduled as one rounder and um c Fliss took my fucking head off <laughs> <laughs> it was no nah, it was it was good he we we had a decent thing. It was probably my worst live round ever, um, like hands down. And then his round was really good, but he had a little stumble, so it was kind of close. But he definitely won. Um, and I went back two more times and had classics that I battled, and that shit never dropped. That sucks. Um, Damn, but, that's whack, man. But not having research fucked me up not having anything to look at i didn't even know what this dude looked like i couldn't find his facebook account before the battle like i had nothing to go off of so that's like a pure example of right. what i sound like when i don't know anything about who i'm showing up for mm. <laughs> now that, you know, I was about, that's what i'm saying because that's helpful man that that sets up the punch lines and Those the level it, it let, you you know, let you know what their aesthetic is what their right, narrative right. is in what what their last battle was like are they coming off of 
hell? Are they coming off an ass whooping? Did they just right. give an ass whooping? Like, are they looking nice coming into this fight? Like, exactly. That's a fact. Now, I got the other camera right here. I'm just making sure we're still rolling. Good thing, bro. But yeah, man, Um, yeah, you need that. And that's why, because I never really got personal with a battle artist to ask them, you know, what's the process and how you go from A to Z. I usually just see the outcome. And I'm sure, I'm sure you know, because of the time frame, you do do your homework, but, you know, speaking to you directly, I just wanted to know what was your mindset and how you get at them, you know what I mean? Oh, hell yeah. Um, fuck it. Watching this shit is definitely important. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they got to stick up. Uh, they, 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 you got to see if they can be consistent. You know what I mean? A consistent <laughs> battler is the most dangerous battler. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that well, I mean, of course, they they need to be good too. But I just mean like consistency is the one of the most important things, and uh, it's one of the easiest angles to pick at someone if they're not consistent. You stumble at all. I I can only do this because my record's so clean when it comes to like not choking and shit. Right, right, right. <laughs> but until the day I do actually choke, I'm gonna get on your ass for even the slightest fucking stumble. How fucking dare you be getting on this thing? <laughs> All types of bullshit. I hear that. <laughs> until I can't no more. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. And definitely going after the structural integrity. Um, right. Right, that's how you gotta rip them apart. I'm always looking for hell yeah. I'm always looking for um any cracks in the armor in that sense, and I'm always looking for a powerful thing that they've said previously, almost as like a retroactive rebuttal. Okay. In okay. a sense, because I'm not always directly rebuttaling the line that they said, but I'll always reference, you know, oh you told them you this and that and then da, da, da. Um, I think that's a, a very strong, very general strategy in battle rap. Okay. Okay. I like that, man. I like that. I ain't mad at that, man. Um, my next question would have to be, so outside of this pandemic, were you scheduled to rap on the 26th or did you have another battle coming up out further down the road? Uh, actually, uh, both. I was I was main event for the uh, 26th. It was going to be me and Falcada. Really? Hell yeah. What? Falcada? That's right. Yeah, That's going to be a good one, yo. Yeah, oh, man. That was going to be... You killed Otis Buckets in that last one. I'm sorry. I love, I love oh, you, Otis. No, <laughs> I love you, Otis, but he killed the Otis. 30, 30, man. It was you were. <laughs> the only, like, one-sided battle of that whole event, though. Like, the, the rest of the event was, like, mad close fights, but that, that was a sacrifice. Yeah, for real, though. <laughs> that was, man. Shout out uh, to Otis, though. Otis is funny. Oh, I'm yeah, like, I gotta have Fowl yeah. here, too, man, because that dude's that dude has some balls. He's funny as shit. I, I'd love he to is, know though. what's in his fucking head about this shit. That ass. But on that bill, on that ticket particularly, the one of the most underrated battles was Gator versus... um John Blaze. Yeah, yo, because John Blaze came with some heat, yo. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, yo, this dude, could, this dude got bars out here. What's going on? And Gator was, was going I, crazy, so... I did like a breakdown stream watching that on the Switch of Bars like group page, and okay. uh, I was saying Gator had my favorite shit of the whole fucking event was right, his right. fucking uh uh the 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 light white scheme like that whole scheme that he did yeah the the cop pull you over he go tap tap white light mm -hmm. that whole fucking shit oh no. god oh so my lord <laughs> now that shit was phenomenal I didn't I didn't even understand he could put it together like that I was like oh shit. So yeah, I, I really, I wasn't expecting that scheme to be as insanely deep as it was. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, man. But um, hopefully, once this bullshit blows over, we can get back to business. Because uh, I want to get into, like, I want to do this podcasting, but I want to get into, like, representation. Because I used to rap myself. Like, if you ask me, Z, and the rap, the rest of them, I got bars, too, but I really ain't focusing on that no more. Really trying to do, like, the surrounding area. But I might get back into management. I had some artists before, and I lost them. Um, so I might get back into that. So there you go. Hopefully, you know, we can we can build on something down the road. You know what I mean? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Absolutely, absolutely. I don't you. like the I don't like to run the time too long. We we approaching the twenty minute mark. You ready for those balls or? Hey, I got you, bro. Uh, you trying to do some acapella? You got a beat. If you want a beat, you could play a beat in the background. Don't matter. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull that beat up real quick. I got a uh... time. Got something for you. I should have had the beat on my phone. I put it on my computer, but if I pull it up uh, fucking computer speakers, you ain't gonna be able to hear shit. Crank the blow. 
volume on this. Document here. I haven't had too much time for uh, memorizing this. I only wrote this today. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. Go. All right. Uh, all right. Let's swing around one time. Hey, yo. So let me introduce the concept to BOD that if his bars on deck, the boy 3 OG ain't a soul alive that can claim they 3 0 me. And for the 603, I'm who they hear. B. <laughs> so let's elaborate. Cash gets up on stacking straight, hitting my ceiling at a disastrous rate. My average plate, decapitated rappers on a slab of steak. That's what I earn because I have the weight they crack and break. Break it, break it, 10 4. I heard that shit. Every road sign telling y'all to turn back quick. My position, yeah, I earned that shit. I'm URL in the summer. I'm bringing pure madness. Since before NJT knocked Norbs out his chonklers. Before Bashir was begging for more out of Hoffa. Do it. Even before Jones got his dose. I've been dead. Nice since Bob Ross was bones and a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> a monster is problem. It's obvious there's not a god that could stop him. No prison to hold him. No walls that could block him. Anybody chatter and cease with the cheap talking. Cause he walking. Three six teams like Steve Austin. Hold on a glass shattering. Nobody leave walking. Three flossing. Picking rappers out of my teeth. I'm interstellar. So ain't a human out of my league. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a little yo, something I whipped up for you earlier today. Yo, appreciate it, bro. See, this is why I got the. That's why we trying to have some of the best talent come on the show, man. Because everybody just that I picked up never disappointed, man. You know what I mean? Play as balls on deck. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate all the time as well, man. I'm happy as fuck. Nah, me too, man. Me too. Especially with all this bullshit going around, we can still connect. You know what I mean? Oh, Work shit, another, shit's and been a get through this bullshit. Mess. Yeah, it's, man, it's, I'm, it's, it's hey, so I'm a homebody, so this shit ain't bothering me. I, I same, here, bro. same here, man. I'm, I'm the same way. Like, outside of, like, working and traveling for battle rap, like, I don't be doing too much. But, like, now I don't work and I ain't traveling for battle rap. Now I ain't doing shit. Right. <laughs> like, God damn. Like, I wasn't doing much in the first place, but I loved what I was doing, and now it's all fucking gone. Now you took that away from me. God damn it. Yeah, for real. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad online battle rap's seeing a resurgence. At least I can keep my pen sharp. Hey. Hey, did you sign up for that, um, that, uh, nice put a battle up, uh, online yeah. battle? Did you sign up? Yep, I sent my money in. I'm about to take some money home, baby. Hey, well, hey, when it takes all, baby, I hope, I hope somebody comes out on top. No, oh yeah, you know, somebody should. Matchups are. I don't have any clue who else is in this shit. I just sent my shit in. I'm about to knock some heads off. That's how, that's how you got to do it, man. That's how you got to do it. Well, listen, man. I'm gonna stay in touch with you. I appreciate you pulling up. Dope interview. Well, I'm gonna edit it in a couple of days. I got Izzy next, so Izzy's coming up later. I don't know if you know who that is. She's new. Uh, yeah, the- I've seen um, I've seen a couple of her freestyles on Facebook, but I don't, yeah, I don't actually know her. Yeah, yeah, she's dope. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have her next. I'm, I'm gonna wait. She told me uh, around four o'clock, so I'm gonna nice. start chopping this one up. And sometime this week, I'm gonna send it to you. Fire! Can't wait, bro. Can't wait. Okay. I had a lot of fun. You're ready, man. Appreciate you, man. Like I said, you have a safe one, all right? And you as well, brother. Stay safe. Take it easy, bro. Doses.